friends and the tradition and the culture, it told me the story about the spider. And the spider in, in Ghanaian um, traditional culture is um, it's the symbol of creation and creativity. So it just it's natural in a way that that story about the spider would 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 be the the spider would be the one to give the weavers the the design. So when I read the story, it was very short, but I thought this could be a book. This could be a children's book, which would tell children where things came from. And that's how I that's that's how I got the story. Okay. Yes. Um, and she, the question is, when I lived in Africa, did I see dangerous animals? Well, not really. I, um, I saw dangerous snakes. It, you know, Africa is huge. Does anyone know how big Africa is? It's like two and a half times the size of our country, the United States of America. It's gigantic. What does that mean? There are many different land, um, different kinds of land and different kinds of climates, different kinds of people all over that land. So I think that when you think about Africa, you're thinking about, young lady, the, the lady that asked the question, young lady. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, are you really interested in the answer? You're interested in that answer, right? Okay. In East Africa, there are big animals like, you know, elephants and different lions and tigers. But, but in West Africa, there are not animals like that. Ghana is in West Africa. So the dangerous animals there were the snakes. Very dangerous snakes. Um, I brought this in to share with you because I knew that you had read Ashanti to Zulu. And Ashanti to Zulu has... Um, the talking drum, you see the drum? Yeah, can someone hold up the drum? Yeah, that's, um, that's an artistic form of a talking drum. Um, what to do with that drum is put it on your arm, um, honey. When she puts that under her arm, if she squeezes her arm, those strings tighten and loosen. As the strings tighten and loosen, she can hit the top of the drum and make the drum talk. Because Chui, which is one of the Ghanaian languages, is tonal. That means, you know, the, the sound of it goes up and down, Toyote. You know, it's, it's like it goes up and down so that the drum can imitate the people's language. And I had that in Ashanti de Zulu on the Ebe page. I don't remember. There was a page on the Ebe people, and it said Ebe people use the talking drums. They all, actually, all the people there use the talking drums. but. Yeah, I was trying to just give you almost bits and pieces of the culture so that you could be interested and drawn to know more. Chameleons are good at blending in with its surroundings. A chameleon teach me this neat trick. First, you, first relax your mind. Next, you look at your surroundings. Lastly, you think about what color you want to be. One day, I'll be walking down the street for pink panther. I said, how do you turn how do you turn pink? She said, you got to do stuff for me, like wash my clothes, feed me curse, and treat me like royalty. I said, no way. She said, I guess you will never turn pink. I said, okay, I'll do it. So for the past week, I feed the hands so I grow to feed her parents and wash out her clothes. The next day, I said, can you teach me how to turn pink? Now, she said, okay, this is what you do. Snap your hands, stomp your feet, shake your head, and then your pink. So I did it step by step, and all of a sudden I turned pink. So I spent my whole life pink. I spent my whole life turning pink. Until one day I was at the beach, and the waves splashed on me, and I wasn't pink anymore. I went to a pink hamster, and I said, pink hamster, I'm not pink no, no more because the waves. She said, resource may vary, and I never turned 